What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we start the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that we still got some t-shirts for sale, some black editions. If you haven't picked one up yet, please check out my big cartel. It's available for order. We're limited on some sizing, but I still got some left that I need to move. If you guys are willing to support the channel and myself, please make an order, place an order, and get yourself a t-shirt, because these are awesome. So today's video is gonna be on the Skyline. I actually picked up some stuff from my buddy Rob. He hooked it up once again, and we're gonna go ahead and install it. It's another part from my car. The Skyline is moving slowly, but definitely getting modded, getting some love. Um, so today, we're gonna go ahead and install it. But first thing I gotta do is, where did I put it? Alright guys, so I'm super stoked about this mod. Um, I wasn't planning to run this, but you know what? I really do need it. Um, so if you remember, I installed a steering wheel into my car um, about a month or two ago. And what happened is, I'm only on a works bell hub. So the steering hub and the steering wheel is the only thing connected. And the steering wheel, since it's not like a deep, uh, deep dish, if that makes sense, uh, the wheel is really close to all of the uh, indicators on the sides. So all my switches, um, I touch them whenever I drive the car, when I'm you know turning or whatever it is. So having this dope quick release that Rob gave me, um, it's really gonna change the way the car feels. Um, I won't have issues hitting those buttons every single time I turn the wheel. And I'm just really excited because this is my first um, NRG uh, hub. I wasn't planning to run NRG, I really wanted a JDM one, but you know, as a gift, I'm gonna go ahead and rock it because Rob's been really great for um, giving me and handing me parts that he don't need anymore. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take the steering wheel off and we're gonna have to install the bracket, um, the mount that goes onto the steering wheel. Uh, once this is installed, the quick release should work perfectly. I might have to mess around with it a little bit in terms of alignment. But once I get it just right, it should work perfectly fine. Um, earlier today, I did went ahead and found some bolts in my garage that fit the thread pitch. And I spray painted them black, some satin black from Krylon. And it turned out pretty damn nice. Uh, I've been letting it dry for the past couple hours. But now we're ready to install this quick release. And then I'll have a cool detachable steering wheel like everybody else. Alright guys, so first thing I do is remove the, the titanium bolts that I installed here. Um, I'm going to be very careful with this. I don't want to damage it. I want to strip it because with these type of small parts and and whatnot, you don't want to over torque them and you don't want to mess with them too much. So I made sure I didn't overdo it. So before I go ahead and install the steering wheel, I want to talk about some other modifications that I actually picked up as well. I also got myself a Nismo horn button that I'm hoping it will work inside of the steering wheel. Um, another thing is I got this really, really cool cup holder here. It's a Nismo cup holder. Really sick. You use it on the AC vent and it's supposed to allow you to, you know, hold bigger cups. Because the cup holder in the R34 is really small. It pretty much holds a small drink or a soda can. But it can't hold other drinks like a Yeti cup and all the other stuff that I, you know, might carry around. I do drive around sometimes with my girlfriend in this car and she likes to bring drinks and stuff like that. So having this is really, really cool. And um, that's going to just take away the headache of trying to fit a cup in here and having it tip over when I drive. And I, I wouldn't want to clean up any of that. So another big shout out. This all came from Rob. Rob, hit up his Instagram. Check him out. His car is amazing. And he's just been a very nice guy about giving me all these parts. And I'm in his debt, like I said in my previous videos. So we're going to install all these beautiful Nismo stuff. And hopefully everything works out well. For now, we're going to go and install the quick release. And hopefully the Nismo button fits onto the steering wheel after everything is done. So 
So these actually doesn't they don't thread as much as I want it to. So this is gonna be a temporary install until I go to um, Home Depot and get some actual nicer, longer uh, bolts. But for the time being, this is all just you know prep work. Trying to make sure everything fits perfect. All right. So once once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and install this on here. Hopefully it works. I really didn't want to put the energy on top, but oh well. Now the steering wheel. Wow, it actually does stick out a lot more. Probably a good three, four inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this thing back up. It's quite pretty good. One thing you could do is loosen up the the little flange and you can adjust it so it's perfectly even with your steering wheel. So since mine's have two flanges on both sides right here, you can actually loosen it up and you know get it just right. I might need to get a ring or something and get this to sit a little bit more snug. This energy comes with this little weird ring thing. I guess you just kind of like snug it in there and then hopefully this fits looks pretty damn good in my opinion although the silver is a little bit crazy it kind of goes nicely with the Nismo um, also energy hub or there's quick release is black which I like uh, it's just a little bit too shiny but it's fine um, I think you're supposed to actually put this on the bottom but I don't like that the opposite side has uh, NRG on it I'm trying to hide that to be honest with you I don't really care to show it button I guess I could rotate the button to the bottom but for the time being I'm content with this it actually looks pretty good and I'm glad that my fingers don't hit these anymore but this does this does sit a lot closer to me now so now I have to adjust my seat a little bit just to you know deal with it Thank you to Rob for giving me this cup holder. It's pretty damn cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Probably right here. Right here, good. And there you go. Now I got a cool little Nismo cup holder here. Not too bad. So we installed the Nismo cup holder and we got a Nismo horn and it's looking pretty damn good. So for the horn button, I actually have to remove the spring that's inside of it. This is where you can use it to, you know, activate the horn. But it wasn't fitting into the actual hub. So I used the energy spacer that I came with. And um, that pretty much was able to put the horn in snugly. If Without that, it just sits in there and it just moves all over the place. Technically, it's not fitting in it. So I'm not sure if that was intentional of energy to make something like that. But it worked well for me and now it looks pretty damn good i'm gonna leave that on there for the time being i might change the wheel up a little bit um, but that could be in a different video but we're not done yet i want to go ahead and install one more nismo part so let's go ahead and check it out i bought these quite a while ago and i've just been waiting for a good day to install them but these are some bobo nismo door jam whatever covers that i bought uh i had another one but i gave it to bobby so that's that but this is like a chrome aluminum look. And they actually go right here on the door. So just remove the double sided tape and that's how it sits. I think it looks good. It actually cleans up this area quite a bit instead of that standard just weird colored powder coated. Oh my god. Yeah. It's going on today. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the double-sided tape on or off 
and then we're gonna install on both sides and that should finish up today's uh modifications there you have it guys just a few installs that i want to do today i'm really excited about the steering wheel and the quick release system a lot of people do run that i just haven't done it in years since i had my integra all my cars that i've owned ever since then always had factory steering wheels but now i'm getting back into my old 16 year old self and modding cars the way i want it to again um even the stupid little details like the little door jam uh, cover caps whatever most people don't even see that detail but i really like that a lot just to see things a little bit more polished than it is from factory also the cup holder pretty cool thing like i said i do drive my girlfriend places in the car when we go out to meets or whatever and sometimes she brings drinks with her and it's just nice to have something else added to this and i really want to say thank you again rob for all of these parts um you know really helped me out a lot because now my car is looking a lot better than it was and it's gonna feel a lot better than it was so in the meantime, I hope you guys are really enjoying the content for the Skyline. Um, haven't been able to make a lot of videos this week because of the hurricane. We have hurricane, um, well, tropical, well, it is a hurricane now. So hu Hurricane Dorian is hitting us pretty soon, um, pretty much in a couple of days. I'm making the videos and stuff like that because I want to get it out there, just let you guys know. Stay tuned for the content that I plan to put on the channel. Um, I know you guys want to see more videos on the S2000, that will come. Because as of right now, I just... I really want to preserve the car because if you watched the previous videos you know that I fixed the car I don't have any more issues with the fuel I don't have any more issues with the EPS module and I don't have any more issues with the hole in the seat which isn't really an issue it's just something that was really bothersome so I did go ahead and install an aftermarket seat so make sure you check that video out um, but yeah this car is super clean I want to take it out more uh, definitely want to modify it one day uh, again maybe run some more you know performance tires and maybe track it uh, this car is built for the track, built for any type of enthusiast you can think of. And of course the Skyline, um, just looking normal again with the stock wheels. But hopefully we can make more videos on this car. Uh, everything takes time. But I do got a couple more videos coming up and I hope you guys stay tuned for that. And it's actually quite serious. To end on a good note, I hope you guys really enjoyed the videos and the content and me in general. I know I'm not anything special. But I hope to provide a lot of information as I learn it and we can go through walkthroughs and modifications on my cars and my garage and my life. I know some of the stuff I have aren't crazy expensive. I know all the stuff I have aren't like the most extreme stuff in the world. And you don't have to watch my channel if you don't really like me either. But I just want to let you guys know I'm doing my best. And you know it's just nice to have more personalities on YouTube that are more honest and straightforward to you guys rather than those who are just chasing a different dream that I don't really care for but again I really am thankful for everyone that subscribed and still watch even though now the number is a lot smaller than it was ever since I sold my Lexus but it's okay it doesn't matter because you know end of the day I'm still gonna make videos no matter what car I drive I can drive a Ford Raptor tomorrow or a freaking Tesla Roadster the next day I'm still gonna make videos on it so I'll, I'm very grateful that you guys are actually sticking around and watching the videos but until then I'll see you on the next video and uh, make sure you hit the like button Leave a comment and subscribe if you're a new time viewer. So uh, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.